Hi, and welcome to Pet Care Pet Tips. This is Kevin. I'm Tim Qualls. We're here, uh, and we're talking about pets. People think pets, dogs, cats, you know, but mm -hmm. there's so many different pets to choose from. You got one of the cutest things I've ever laid my eyes on, and you know, the nice thing about it is, great for kids. Perfect. They, um, it's a great starter pet. They're uh, really easy to take care of. Obviously, just like any pet, you got to feed them water and clean, keep them clean. Um, check on them daily. The, uh, they, go, they live for about three to five years. Um, the best is a Chinese dwarf hamster. Um, I don't think I've ever heard of one ever biting. That's why these are, and they're pretty calm. As you can see, you know, gerbils, mice, you're kind of, you would be bobbling them. Try to keep them up, but they're pretty calm and cute. Um, the only thing with these guys is that, just like all rodents, their teeth constantly grow. So you got to give them things to chew on. Um, and you can give them things that, you know, is, is uh, intricate, I guess, as this thing. Um, but in reality, you can just give them wood sticks. You can give them um, kebab things. And most things come with these little holes to put on the kebab so you don't have to sit them in the Right, right. Poop so they kind stuff. of hang, hang yeah. a little bit and all right. that. Because um, you got to keep the teeth wearing down. But what's cool about this is, you know, the, is the the supply of them, the cages and stuff, I think it's the neatest thing. You know, you got Critter Trails, what it is. You know. Yeah, it's very simple. I mean, they all come with a um, water bottle, wheel, bowls. Um, pretty much all you need is food and bedding. So, um, I mean, you could do the basic setups like we have here, but after you add it all up, it's very close to the same price as doing the, these things. And then you can add on to them too. So birthdays, Christmas, that sort of thing. You can add on the tubes. And different make cage. trails, you know, just expand. But what what a great way to, you know, because kids always tell you, yeah, let me get a dog, I'll take care of it. And then you're out there in the middle of the rain with an umbrella, and, you know, <laughs> yeah, doing all this. But with this, you know, the kid, you know, put in the room. I noticed the cages they had lights on them and stuff. So, mm -hmm. you know, you put them in the room. Kids can watch the, you know, and and give them give them a good pet. Show them how to take care of something. That, that's the that's, the, that's the key part. And it really is for, easy. Um, if you get on a schedule with it, typically it's about every once a week you want to, you know, empty it out, and clean it out, um, and feed water every day. The uh, and then maybe about once a month out of that week, you know, you really want to break it down, bleach it out, make sure it's all good to go. And I mean, you can tweak that a little bit depending upon where it is and how sensitive you are or the kid is to the smell and that sort of thing. But for the most part, it's generally about a week, you know, about a half hour a week. What I like about it is price wise, Kevin, with the, you know, the dwarf hamsters, they're not that expensive, you know, mm -hmm. so you get a couple of them, you know, you know, you don't want to put one in the cage by itself, but get a couple of them so they have something to play and run around the wheels. What great entertainment for the kids. And like you said, you've never seen one to bite. Not mm -hmm. to say that they won't, I, yeah, but you know, it's, most yeah, chances it's are. Rare. You know, kids can pick them up and play with them and, you know. Yeah, exactly. And you know, I mean, uh, um, and, and they can, and you can do one, if you you know because they're, right. they're solitary now if you want to do and you can do two as well typically if you do that you want to get two litter mates of the same sex unless if you have two unless of the opposite you, want, you know yeah, what happens yeah you want more um, <laughs> yeah and uh and typically i mean especially the chinese dwarfs are very easy to tell um yeah, well, that's I, a male. yeah, yeah. You, know, you, you can definitely <laughs> to tell which is which, and uh, but you, you know you got different hamsters and stuff that you know, mm -hmm. and all basically the same thing. You know, the care for them. So it depends on what you want. I mean, you got your you know Chinese. Yeah, we got dwarf. the traditional ones, the bigger, uh, the ham big hamster guys. These guys, um, the people I'm buy more are familiar with. They're kind um, of camera shy, that's for sure. Yeah, but they you know they get good size. They're and they come in different colors and long hair, short hair, all that kind of stuff. You know, we also have like the mice or the, and, and rats have gained a lot of popularity over time. I mean, you give a lot of people the willy, especially the tails, but uh, they're actually a great pet. They, a they, rat? Yeah, believe it or not, they're very smart. They're, they're well, pretty I, clean. I know that rats are really intelligent critters. They, they truly are. Uh, you will have customers coming in with, you know, girls that have them on the shoulder. Yeah, you know, we won't even know it, and it crawls out here's of their the, hair. Here's the big boys. They're, they're the rats there, and, uh, yeah, and again, they, they'll come in different colors too. I mean, of course, we only got white right now, but yeah, we'll have black and white or black and now, blue. Now, as far as that, the rats a little bit bigger cage or? Yeah, yeah, you'll need a bigger setup. Um, the biggest thing is you want to make sure the bar spacing is small enough where they can't slip through. You would be amazed at what these guys can slip out of. Right. Um, definitely, whatever cage or however you do it, you want to make sure that it's 
And it's that, escape proof. That, that comes back to your expertise once again, to working with you guys here. You know, so you got any a lot of things that you can fit into a cage situation and and teach your kids. Respond and, and adults. I mean, you might enjoy them, Kevin. You, you're having a lot of fun with it, with it right there. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, but just the, the, I look at it as the teaching the kids how to care for for a pet. Mm -hmm. You know, take and care. We have of all it. kinds of things that'll fit into your schedule and you know your lifestyle. We love to play matchmaker. Yeah, another thing that we have and want to talk about because it's very popular. You know, is rabbits. You know, you got a lot of rabbits. They're very easy to take care of as well. Mm -hmm. When you're talking about that, you know, uh, you. you I, I had them when I was a kid. You know, we had four or five rabbits outside in a cage. Uh, but you, amazing thing about rabbits is you can have them inside and, and you can train them to a litter box. Yeah, there's a lot of people that do that. Um, usually the uh, rabbits will pick a corner to go in. Um, and when they do, that's where you want to put the litter box and they'll, they'll get the idea. Um, and then after, t after some time goes, you can start trusting them outside a little bit and just you know go slow with it because you don't want them to make sure it's uh, rabbit proof they will chew on stuff power cords that kind of stuff right so they're, sure they're, their up. teeth constantly grow too and they need yeah. to chew a little bit and i think that's um i mean rabbits typically live almost uh you know, they almost 10 years uh but over the years they seem to have gone backwards with that and i think because most of the time we baby them now we have them in these cages you know back in the day we'd have them in wood hutches outside right, and they right, were chewing right. those hutches all day long now, if you don't give them things to chew on, their teeth, they don't just grow straight up like ours. They grow Sideways, all over the place, yeah, yeah, you know, right, and all it right. takes is one to, you know, block what they eat or, or poke them in a, in a lip or something, and that gets sore, and they just stop eating. Right, right. Um, so, so you want to definitely, there's some care there. Vets, want... vets can do it. It costs some money, but it's a lot easier just shower them with things to chew on. Yeah, just give them things to chew on, everything, mm -hmm. all different types of rabbits, colors, and everything else. Yeah, different sizes. Pet, pet like, care. for instance, these little guys here are... Um, Flemish Giants. These guys are only six weeks old and they're about the size of about a 12-week-old rabbit. Um, these guys get huge. Yeah, I mean, you can tell big, by big. the back of the feet. I mean, he's got some big feet on the back. Yeah, these there. guys. These guys grow. How I cute, mean, you know. <laughs> literally the size of a Shih Tzu or something yeah, like yeah, that. You're you talking know? about biting and stuff. I mean, rabbits aren't known to. They're again. So yeah, they don't bite. Yeah, their biggest feet. thing is their feet. And if you have one that's kind of freaking out, the best way to do it is hold them to your chest, just right. like this. Um, you know, until they freak out. Also, covering their eyes, it, they're they, fine. they calm right down. They calm yeah. right down. So mm -hmm. another good pep for kids and, and, and things before you get, you know, there again, can you take care of this? Cause that's what I'm going to tell my kids. If you can take care of this, maybe we look at getting something else, but let's see how you do with this. Right. Feeding them and, it, you know, because it's, it, you're taking care of a living creature, you know. Exactly, so, you know. it's all up to you to take care of them. Yeah, yeah. You know? And, and uh, again, you know, feed water, about the same thing. Now rabbits do, they are known to poop a lot, um, but the good thing is they don't doesn't smell. It's not like it's gross or not anything like, like a that. Cat, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, um, yeah. But you know, I still say almost depending on where you have it, almost weekly, maybe a little bit more. Uh, you, if you, he goes to that one corner, just stay on top of that corner. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right. Typically, they will. They're pretty clean animals. Yeah. They take, clean themselves. Taking out the uh, uh, the different, uh, <clears throat> I guess. What is that that you put in the bottom of the cage? Is the bedding. Yeah. Bedding, bedding. That's mm -hmm. what you call it. So mm -hmm. that's available. You can change that completely, or you yep. know, like you said, yeah. you know, get them going into a certain area. Yeah, I'd say completely about weekly, and then every day or two, make sure you keep that one corner clean. Yeah. Um, but they're just great, great pets to have. I like I said, I had them when I was a kid. We had one that got got pretty friendly. Just kind of ran around out in the backyard. And, and, and play with the dogs and everything else. Right. You know, so, and you got to be careful too. I mean, if they do get loose, or, you know, I've heard of uh, that makes me nuts that people will let them go uh, intentionally, and they're domesticated. You know, they're going to be a fox food. You know what I mean? You got to stay out. You can't just. These leave are them cute. Out. These are cute. Yeah, these guys actually, they were just born three days ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, the cool thing about guinea pigs is, you know, like rabbits and hamsters, when they have babies, they come out almost looking like a fetus. They're pink right, and they're right, nothing right. to them. These guys come out with hair, eyes open, ready to rock. They're in a food bowl the first day. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. so they're only like a few days old. Yeah, they, they're as cute as can be, too. They you have different colors, the brown, the black. I like that. Yeah. I love the color, though. The same thing really... with these guys. You got the teeth that constantly grow. Um, Give them something to chew on. They, they, you can't really litter train these guys like the rabbits, but um, again, they're, I don't think they go to the bathroom as much as the guinea pigs. They're, they're very low, low smell. But you don't have to have a huge cage for them either. You know, they, you know something like one, this, this would be... Yeah, about, about two and a half feet by about 
foot and a half, you yeah, know, yeah. base. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice to sit on the Height doesn't bedroom. matter, yeah. you know, because they don't climb. Yeah. They might perch up on something, you know, like on top of the houses, but that's about it. And the main thing it. is just, just playing with them and, and getting mm -hmm. them used to you. I mean, they, they become pretty good pets. I mean, Keep them clean. Yeah. Uh, make sure they're chewing on stuff. And, uh, you know, and the nails will grow. Yeah, yeah. Um, you got to stay on top of those. But they, they're just as cute as can be. So if you're looking for pets outside of a dog or cat or something like that, there's one more thing I want to talk about. It, 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 we, we do it here at Pet Care. I want to remind everybody, any questions you have whatsoever, just stop in Pet Care. The, the, the staff, you you got one of the best staffs I've ever seen. You All the people been here for a while. Mm -hmm. They know what they're talking about. They can help you with any they're questions. They're all pet lovers. Yeah, but they, you know something that's real easy to care for, let's talk about it. Turtles. I mean, so easy to take care of turtles. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, you know, he is he, uh, the mill pose time, come out of the shell a little bit, get right. on the camera. But uh, <laughs> turtles really easy to care for. I mean, let's talk about yeah, it. Yeah, the, um, the initial setup is a little more expensive than some things, but once you do that, other than feeding them and, uh, you know, again, caring for them, keeping their uh, environment clean, because it's a little more expensive because you need the lighting, you need a filter, and the tank. Um, but, and it's important to have lighting, it's important to have a spot to get out on and bask in the lighting. I mean, everybody's been to a stream or a lake or something, you see them perched up on a log or something, that's what they gotta do. Um, now these but otherwise, are, they're very simple, they're not social. Now don't these, need to are, have extra are ones. these gonna get much bigger, is that pretty Yeah, nice? these guys, um, a lot of them, most common you'll see is red-haired sliders, um, river cooters, yellow bellies, that's what these guys are. The, um, but they'll get maybe, Ready to size the biggest, they'll get the size of like a dinner plate. These guys probably not so big, but they'll get fairly good size. So they're going to um, be around for a while. They're not. Gonna... Yeah, they live for a long time. Yeah. I mean, a long yeah. time. Yeah, and then feed wise, all you got to do is turtle food or? It's dry turtle food, which most of the ones that we have are already accustomed to. You can give them some guppies. Um, they like some uh, anacara, some plants that most pet stores have. They love yeah. that stuff. But you put you want to give them a mix too, because you figure in the wild, the same thing doesn't swim in front of their face every day. Yeah, um, but you can, you can throw some uh, rocks in there, some mm -hmm. different things from the crawl. You decorate it up. Yeah. You know, as they get bigger, they will trample the stuff. But I mean, you can still, you, there's things you can do. You yeah, know? You can, yeah. And uh, the, the, another thing, easy for kids to learn how to take care of. Very easy. Yeah, very yeah, easy. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're low maintenance. Once you have them, I mean, other than again, I'd say every couple of weeks, you're going to want to do a good job of cleaning it out, changing the filter and that sort of thing. Um, and then the lighting, you want to have a day and night cycle. Um, and then the only other thing is with these guys is that they can cause salmonella or they can they carry it. So if you handle them or handle anything in a tank, you want to wash your hands before you eat something or put your fingers in your mouth, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, you don't want to kiss these guys. <laughs> um, so they're not the lovable ones, but they, they mm -hmm. well, great to, you know, just watch them grow, you know, mm -hmm. put them in there and just watch them grow. And they, and them, they learn care. when they see you yeah. that there's, that they, you feed them. So right. they come out almost like a dog. They're happy to see you, you know. Tails wagging on the whole yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> But it's all here for you, pet care. There's fish, there's dogs, there's cats, there's rabbits, there's hamsters, there's rats, lizards, snakes, you know. you. If you're looking for a pet, these guys can help you and guide you what's going to be best for your needs and your child's needs, because that's what I talk about. As adults, we kind of get to a stage, but kids, you definitely want to get them so they understand what it takes to take care of a pet so you're not out there in the rain, like I said. Yeah, well, it was a great learning yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so, the kids this way, you know, it's a life. you got to take care of them. Yeah, that's it. And you so, know, you know, your so hands. Someday they're going to be having kids, and this way they learn how to take care of things and understand it. And mm -hmm. for more information, just go to Pet Care and uh, visit the store, go to the website, and definitely check out all your pet care tips as we do each and every month. Kevin, thank you so much. Thank you. For more Appreciate pet it. care tips, we'll see you next time.